Hey guys, how are you? Today I'm going to be talking about how do you become a safe driver, what do you need to know about driving. If you don't know, I'm a state certified driving instructor. I'm here to help you become the best driver you can. I'm here to help you become a safe driver. Here's a profile of young drivers to help you understand how important it is and how important my job is. Typically, male drivers tend to be more aggressive. They drive a little bit faster. If all of you were my nephews, I would say you got to slow down. Always be careful and slow down. Next, when driving on dry country roads in daylight, that makes you very vulnerable. It makes you very vulnerable to not be able to control your vehicle. So what I need you to do when you're driving is slow your speed down if you're on a dirt road because dirt roads can be very slick, very dangerous, they have a soft shoulder, and you don't want to go to the edge of the road. Next, on straight stretches of road without traffic control devices, a lot of beginners tend to go really fast. So what I want you to do is go slower, and I want you to take your time, and we will definitely uh, improve. So I want you to be able to improve and get better. That's really important. If you have any questions, go ahead and put them in. What I want you to do is limit the number of passengers. Um, won't be home till <laughs> I won't be home until about six twenty. <laughs> uh, so before I have class. <laughs> oh man, that's great. <laughs> um, failure to recognize hazardous situations. What is a hazardous situation? In your neighborhood, slow down. You got a lot of people in your neighborhood walking around, cutting grass. It's a beautiful day, so people aren't playing football. They're out jogging. They're out having fun. <laughs> um, next, what I'd like you to understand is the more vehicles that are on the road, the more dangerous things tend to be. You're going to have to slow down and take your time and be a safe driver. That is so important. Um, passengers, you got to make sure all your people in the car, uh, I love you too. <laughs> this is great. <laughs> um, you have to make sure all your passengers are buckled up because a lot of young drivers tend to forget their seatbelts. You got to put on your seatbelt. That is so important. And it's so important. A lot of people forget about it. And then what happens when you hit something you go flying out of the car. Yes, a lot of accidents, very good. A lot of accidents do happen under 30 miles an hour. So I'm gonna go through some of the things all of you need to know. If you have questions, go ahead and ask me. What other, how big are factors of distraction? They are huge. Driving is a multi-task responsibility. You gotta keep your car straight. You gotta check your mirror. You've gotta turn on your blinker. You gotta check the radio. There's so many things you have to deal with, so you have to stay focused on the driving task, right? If this is bringing you value, drop some likes. I'm trying to show you important things, and I'm really happy to be here, right? Next, um, using your cell phone, okay? We all love to talk on our phone, right? I'm talking on my phone to you right now, but I'm parked, and I'm not driving, so... If you have to talk on the phone, and it's really important, you should be pulling over to the edge of the road. You should really be careful out there on the road because there are a lot of people who are just distracted. They're on the phone. They're listening to the radio. They're not paying attention. Okay? Um, your prefrontal cortex. Now I'm a brain doctor. Many of you are 25 or less a lot of your brains are not developed until your age 25. You're saying, what? Yes, your brains are not developed until your age 25. So what does this mean? You need to be really careful. You need to double check your directions. You need to keep a hold of your emotions. That is so important because no one's going to do it except for you. Your mom won't do it. Your bestie won't do it. So you've got to keep control of your emotions. Um, social skills, decision making, multitask, using your blinker, backing up, looking out of your back window, coming up to a light, there are pedestrians walking, your hockey bag slips, 
if you're if you're enjoying this, share it with your other friends. Tell them, hey, he's live. You got to hear this. What's up, Grace? How you doing? What's up, Michael? How you doing? Okay. My goal is to get as many likes as possible. I have about four more minutes with you, so I'm going to talk to you about safe driving practices. Distractions of young drivers are very dangerous. Uh, when you're on a cell phone, it's the equivalent to being under the influence. Uh, most states have zero point, excuse me, point zero eight. So you want to limit your cell phone usage uh, when you're driving. Research reveals that a young driver's brain is not developed to age 25. So what does this mean? You need to be careful. You need to focus on driving. If you have a friend that talks a lot, hey, I can't take you with me. Hey, Maggie, how are you? What's going on, nuts? <laughs> What's up, Jordan? How are you? Right? So we're here. We're talking. If you got comments, put it in. Uh, I want more likes. I want it all. So I'm bringing you value. Um, a lot of people do talk on the cell phone. I don't support it. Get off the cell phone when you're driving. Right? Um, we're all better drivers than we think. So it's really important that you focus on your driving. Focus on the process. Right? Drop some hearts. Drop some likes. Um, and experience. The best teacher is experience. So it takes about 10 years for beginning drivers. A beginning driver is anyone with less than 10 years of experience. Okay? Um, young drivers compound with their inexperience and overreaction to driving situations could really get you in trouble. So if you've got to slow down and stay focused on the road, which is really important. The recent survey of uh, dangerous drivers and reported that 75% of adults and 52% of teens, the cell phone usage is what really uh, takes you away from your focus of driving, okay? If you have some comments or questions, I'm still required to take the written test for my license. I already have my permit. Okay, if you have your full permit and if you're in a state that has a graduated license, you might have to take the segment two, okay? Um, if, if you have... So once you get your full license, there's no more test, but it depends on the state you're in. Can you teach me how to drive? I'm in Orange County. I don't have a chopper. Get it? Orange County chopper. Um, reach out to me, um, but I'm in the Midwest. You're in, in California, I assume. Um, I can give you information. I can help prepare you. So I got a couple minutes here. One percent of young drivers, I know, I'm crying too, right? 1% of drivers, um, a fatal car crash will happen in fog, okay? It will happen in fog. Can I go 100 miles an hour on the highway? Um, I think in some areas of maybe Wyoming or Nevada, there might not be a speed limit on certain parts. In Texas, there are certain areas that may not have a speed limit. You're going to have to check with that. But usually, I would say... Stay about 70 or 75. What does the driving test consist of? Uh, parallel parking, merging an expressway, rules of the right of way, uh, going through neighborhoods, uh, reverse parallel parking. What's up, Jack ain't nut? <laughs> hey, listen, I really love and appreciate all of you. I get, get, get ready to go do some driving right now. I'll go live later. If you have any comments, let me know. And I do appreciate you. Bye, guys. I had a lot of fun talking to you.